believing that that hell was real. I said, you know, I didn't want to believe in all that dark stuff, you know, I, there's no hell. That's what I thought, but there is a hell. Jordan Samuel believes there's a hell because he believes he's been there. I could hear cackling, like laughing, <laughs> like laughs, they were demons, I could hear stuff. Earlier in his life, he never believed hell existed. If I live my life and do the best I can do, like karma-wise, you know, what goes around comes around, I'll just be the best man that I can be. He grew up in Edmonton, British Columbia with a single mom and went to a Catholic school. He was naturally inquisitive and asked a lot of questions about Jesus. How could one man come and just die for me? And, you know, who is this guy? And for that, he was kicked out of class. But my third time getting kicked out of class, I remember saying, you know what? I never want to know this Jesus guy. Whoever he is, he just gets me in trouble and I just get kicked out of class and no one wants to give me answers about him and this is how people treat me. I don't want to know. His mom married and for the next 15 years, Jordan says his family life was great. Then his mom and stepdad divorced. Jordan was devastated. The only way he knew how to deal with the pain was to rebel. So whether that was drinking and driving with buddies and underage driving, stealing cars and, you know, getting stereos and having the thrill of, you know, almost someone catching me, but not quite. For the next four years, Jordan continued his reckless behavior, but he wanted to turn his life around. So he stopped selling drugs and started working for an oil rig company. I was making really good money at a really good house. After work one day, Jordan decided to smoke some pot. He didn't know the pipe he used was laced with crack cocaine, something he had never done before. Jordan was sure he was dying. I can feel my heart going boop, 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 slow down, boop, 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 and then like fluttering. Jordan believes in that moment he went to hell. All these women and all the things you think you want in the world, money, car, success, you know, um, all these things that I had and I, and I was driving, I was just loving it. And then all of a sudden this car broke down. Poof. All of a sudden these women turned to huge, huge demons and the, it, it, it earthquaked. And I look behind me and I can hear screaming, it's all red and black. <sighs> turn around, turn around, get out of here. It sounded like people burning, people that were just just burning that couldn't find a cure or a fix to anything. It was just the worst. And I remember being afraid, gripping the steering wheel. And all of a sudden it was like, I'm back to my body in the trailer room. As Jordan was taking what he thought was his last breath, he made a declaration of faith to God. And my heart's going, boom, boom, like the last beat. Not even knowing why, I just said, believe and all of a sudden boom i'm gone that's when jordan says jesus pulled him out of hell and took him to heaven he was all in white he was in a robe when i saw him and he looked at me and he wears a crown on his head and his eyes are fierce like fire but there is no like like color just bright looking at me and he's just he's like just he just is amazing you're at his feet, you're at the Lord's feet because he's just perfect. You worship him because he's the almighty. You worship him because he's, he's, he saved us. Then Jordan believes he was standing before God. The Lord went to the right hand of the Father and I began to get judged by the Father. And it was the worst because what happened was he, he played secrets in my heart that I locked away that I only knew that I ever did. And I thought no one could do and I could feel what God felt. And I said, Lord, forgive me. Like it was the worst feeling. And he just comes in and he hugs you. He says, all is forgiven. My old heart was, was broken. My old heart needed fixing. And God gave me a new heart. All of a sudden, he told me he loved me, that I'm not alone, that I've never been alone. He showed me all the times in my life where I thought I was lucky, that I thought I was alone, but how his hand was always just upon me. And he was always right there pursuing me nonstop. He hugged me again, told me he loved me. 
all of a sudden I was like, Phew. I'm back in my trailer room on the floor. I grabbed the Bible. It was like it was glowing and I held it. Phew. I opened up the Bible. First thing I ever read out of the Bible was Psalms 34. The happiness of those who trust in God. I began to read it and it was everything that just happened to me. Only God can do that. Jordan shared his journey to heaven and hell with his girlfriend, Danica. His voice changed, his eyes changed, his body language changed. Everything about him was new. It was different. So there was no doubting that he had had the experience that he did. My mouth, my words, swearing, everything was like cleansed, like cleansed. I was delivered from any addiction I had. Today, Jordan and Danica are married with two children. They are missionaries preaching the gospel around the world. They are letting everyone know Jesus is real and that he can change the most hardened heart with his love. God loves the broken and loves the lost, and he doesn't give up on them. He loves them with all his heart. He leaves the flock to find the one, and he did.